Belize is a country rich in Mayan history, with an incredible number of opportunities to experience firsthand the beauty of that ancient civilization. I teamed up with a fantastic company to find the best adventures I could, PAX Tours in San Ignacio. I asked for their best, and they took me to Caracol. Our guide Josh picked us up at our hotel and we were on our way. We broke up the drive with a visit to the Rio Frio Cave, a small but spectacular example of the cave network that exists here in this part of Belize. These mountains are primarily made of limestone and so the underground springs and rivers just carve these huge caverns out over millions of years. And it's the same forces that have developed the cenotes north of here up in the Yucatan. Here it's resulted in a system of hundreds and hundreds of caves throughout the mountains here in this part of Belize. So if you come here, you gotta make spelunking part of your itinerary. It's absolutely gorgeous. We hop back in the car for the next more challenging part of the trip. The roads to the site range from just okay to just terrible. But as our guide told us when he picked us up, weather like this just adds to the sense of adventure. And he was right. We sped along the access road to Caracol. And as the jungle on either side of us narrowed the road from two lanes down to one, it felt like we were heading off the grid. We arrived at the site and began our walk into the most spectacular city we'd see in Belize. Before long, we entered the main complex at the site of the Ka'ana, known to the Mayans as the Sky Palace. Well, it's a pretty dramatic picture when you come around those trees and catch sight of this main structure for the first time. There was only one thing left to do, reach for the sky. Let's climb. It's definitely a workout getting up these steps, but what awaits you at the top makes it all worth it. So one of the theories as to why the Maya built these steps so steep on these main temples here is that they wanted everybody coming up in a bowing position when they got here. And I have to tell you, I believe it. I've been doing some bowing. The Mayans called this city Three Hills Water, and at its height a thousand years ago, it was home to over a hundred thousand people. One of the most powerful cities in the region, it often clashed with the larger city of Tikal to the northwest for supremacy. This group of ruins is the oldest in Caracol. These buildings and stelas date back as far as 2,000 years, and I found them to be some of the most interesting to explore. This tomb here dates back nearly 2,000 years to 70 AD at least. And this whole complex here has really interesting burial structure. There's a bi-level burial site across from this one and it's tempting to go down in there, but I've been told there's spiders. I don't wanna see spiders. Following a tasty homemade lunch, we headed for our last stop out in the Mountain Pine Ridge Reserve to a little slice of heaven called Big Rock Falls. Well, the hike down to Big Rock Falls is a steep one, but it's worth it when you get down there. This massive 150-foot waterfall is bucket list material and offers the chance to cool down by jumping off the rocks that surround its deep, clear pools. Big Rock Falls living up to its name. With a quality guide like Josh leading us through history, action, and all the adventure Kayo has to offer, PAX Tours Caracol Adventure was everything we hoped it would be.